do you feed them? As a community matron, I manage long patients with long-term conditions and I also manage patients with complex conditions and the hospital telephoned me because I work across community and into the hospital and they telephoned to tell me about a patient who was had a very complex condition. He um, wanted to come home and die and the doctors already said he was going to die and he was struggling with alcoholism and he wanted literally to drink himself to death and he wanted to be at home and when I went to where he lived, he lived in an appalling situation. I couldn't possibly put carers in there. And because I had such a good working relationship with Jackie and with her team, I contacted them and we went from there, really. I knew that we had a property within one of the extra care schemes that had been empty for a little while. And it seemed to be the perfect solution, really. This is the Canons, it's a sheltered extra care scheme which means that there is more care provided by on-site and agency staff who are able to respond to people when they need that help and that assistance. Certainly uh, Culture to Borough Homes is committed to, to being part of that, this solution. We don't think it's the only solution. Um, sheltered housing won't always be the best option for people. To, to, to be quite clear, if someone can return to their own home where they've lived for a long time, that is clearly a better option for that individual in most cases. But for some, it's not possible for them to go home. Probably 70% die in hospital or hospice with maybe a doctor or a nurse. This enables people to have uh, much more choice. And the government, uh, and as we are, are very much about choice, giving people choice where they wish to spend the rest of their days.